Hi learners, this is Chandra, back with a super useful topic. That is how Pega scenarios are actually debugged. Even experienced developers skip some of this. So the first one is clipboard. So this is actually Pega's brain. Whatever the data it is, it must be stored here. And always check clipboard first as part of debugging. And then second one we treat it as a tracer. This is similar to live CCTV. Turn it on, it will record every rule that fat and every parameter passed and every step executed. And then comes live UI. If a button or a field is not displayed in UI screen, then happily use live UI. It's like doing an X-ray for your complete screen. You can see exactly which section or visibility rule is stopping it. And then we have something called logs. So think of this as a lab test reports. If there is any exception or integration issue or any hidden error, logs tells us the truth. And if your app feels slow, runs PAL, that is performance analyzer. It shows where the traffic jam is, maybe a database or maybe at activity execution or integration, anything. And then comes kind of rule resolution algorithm. If a wrong rule fires open rule resolution, it shows the family tree of all the rules. And for any type of data issues you are facing, then inspect data pages to check for its parameters and its caching. So yes, Pega debugging is not hard when you know where to look. And if you want more simple real-time Pega mastery tips, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to us. Thank you. This is Chandra signing off.